convinced that we will destroy, unfortunately, a lot of employment. Uh, just think of uh, self-guided cars uh, um, and all the drivers losing their jobs. L let's look at the bank employees and so on. If you're left behind, you're facing something far worse, which is to be completely irrelevant. They won't even need you as a serf or as a slave. Something else going on here. Nothing to do with Donald Trump. We're in the middle of what I call, other people call, the fourth industrial revolution. Is, or is there going to be middle class where, you know, Moore's Law, the IT, the way we're walking, you know, artificial intelligence. Uh, look what's happened with all the retail jobs that got lost because of Amazon. Now people go to Amazon and so all across the country, a couple hundred thousand people lost their jobs. And people are worried. Truck drivers I talked to are saying, well, you know, they're going to automate trucking. I know, and I'm not going to have a job. So we are very eager to hear from you. Um, the fourth industrial revolution has one big challenge. It is the holding out of the middle class, which is a pillar of our democracies. So topic, and Dr. Schwab, I'm flattered you'd ask me to keynote. Uh, there's an expression in my old neighborhood back in the United States. This may be above my pay grade. It's not above yours, though. You've written extensively on the topic that you've asked me to speak to. Mastering the Fourth Industrial Revolution. This fora decide, defines uh, that as uh, change fueled by a digital revolution. We're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go, but clearly... We're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're, going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols? Who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world works. It is definitely time to wake up out of your sleep in the times that we're in right now. Plus, guys, we know we're waiting on that next main event towards the end of the year. Like I told you, that would happen. Don't forget this is Shemitah year. And then also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids books. It's definitely time to re-educate. And also, those who donate to the Cash App Patreon, much love, keep it coming. Do not forget I have the New World Order cryptos in my Patreon. Do your own research, but going inside of a bear market, you definitely want the cryptos that have real use cases. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And we have Bitcoin and crypto slightly moving up. We know that we're the only game in town. But in crypto, guys, we haven't been receiving a lot of volume on the weekend. The reason why? The retail traders are out. And we know because the Fed is raising rates and shrinking the balance sheet, there's no more pumping the bubble. So right now, Bitcoin has been stable, been chopping around the same range. But guys, we have the rate hike November 2nd and in December. 
So I definitely see Bitcoin and cryptos pulling back right along with the stock market, but we're still going to have those pumps and dumps. So make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, which we saw them pushing them down on Friday. Also, guys, we have volume. Like I stated, crypto hasn't been getting any volume. Then, of course, we have Tether, USDC, and then we have the Fed. The Fed repo is still over $2.2 trillion. And because the Fed is still raising rates and shrinking this balance sheet, we know it's more pain coming to the markets. Don't let anyone convince you otherwise. And then on top of it, guys, we have the strong dollar, which is not hurting us that bad, but the emerging markets... Is crushing them. And they're going to keep this going on for about a year, year and a half until those emerging markets get switched completely over to digital currencies. Guys, that is the go. Remember, they print all this money, 20% of all money in existence in one year. So therefore, they could build the fourth industrial revolution where the robots, algorithms, and drones take over the economy, pay each other with crypto, and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And even if you're not conscious, you can clearly see now the plan. All the pieces of the puzzle are put together. And we have midterms only a couple weeks away. And therefore, they can put their foot on the gas when it comes to the Hegelian dialectic. And then also, we see the chaos that they're trying to stir up around the midterms. And guys, we have a lot of distractions going on. Remember, it's going to take about two years for them to really get the fourth industrial revolution under the way. So they have to keep the sheep distracted. And we know right now we have the holidays. And then when it comes to the first quarter of next year, we always take a big dip. Plus, these corporations are going to be paying a 15% tax. But we know the sheep get the income taxes, so they're not worried about it. They're not invested in these markets. So they're going to still be distracted. They're going to have money for the short term. And like Mike Novogratz stated, these people are already fired. They're already laid off. They just don't know it yet. Over 2023 and 2024 are going to be the worst times in American history. And in the media for the last two years, these corporations cannot fill positions. At least that's the narrative that they're putting out there. Plus, these corporations already have come out and said they're going to be doing mass layoffs. And that's going to give them the opportunity to bring in automation. And we know the NWO causes a problem. Wait for the reaction and run in with the solution. And we know the reaction from the people, as always, is begging the government. And the government already has a solution. The robots, algorithms, and drones, and that UBI, universal basic income where they're going to be airdropping this free money. They're going to be able to tell you what, where, and when, and how to buy. Programmable stable coins. And then on top of it, these stable coins are going to expire. You have three to six months to spend it, or poof, it's gone. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, guys, don't forget about Grayscale. Moved up slightly. Don't forget to pay attention to the allocations. And then also, they started a movie. We know they have the lawsuit with the SEC for the spot Bitcoin ETF. Now, getting over into a little crypto news, we have Elon Musk holds on to his crypto. He still owns 25% of the original holdings that he bought. And I can see him selling more in the first quarter of next year. And remember, all CEOs have come out and say how bad 2023 is is going to be. And lastly, guys, we have Ripple gets the Hinman docs in their hand. And Brad Garlinghouse says the shamefulness of the SEC's behavior will shock you. And guys, we know this Ripple SEC case was nothing but a movie. And the NWO knows that people love drama. The masses love drama. At first, it used to be women. But now, men love the drama also. We see it on social media. We even see it on these sports shows. I don't see how people even watch these sports shows because it's all centered around drama. They have to have a storyline. And that's the same thing when it comes to this Ripple case. It's nothing but drama for you to feed in. We know Jay Clayton bought this case on and left out, which he could have bought in regulation. And then he hands it over to Gary Gensler. Well, Gary Gensler could have bought in regulation. He didn't. 
The reason why? Because they had to keep this gambling casino going for the fourth industrial revolution. And this case was brought about in order to kick regulation down the road. The SEC clearly knows what's a security and what's not a security. If they can come out and tell you a lot of these cryptos are securities, that means they've already done the homework to tell you which ones are securities. And we know Janet Yellen and Gary Gensler are the NWO chess pieces. I've proven it time and time again. But guys, Ripple is embedded over into the emerging markets for a reason. Who does cross-border payments benefit the most? The emerging markets. And then plus, we see America being divided from the emerging markets. We see all the bills that Biden is pushing, the CHIPS bill, that's dividing us from the BRICS nations. I've showed you Society 5.0. The fact is that the fourth industrial revolution is all about the emerging markets leading the way. And we know how important cross-border payments are going to be to the Belt and Road. That's the reason why XRP and XLM are going to be very important. We know the central banks already have their own system. But the fact is, these smaller banks and consumers are going to need XRP and XLM. Because at this time, it's going to save them money. And what everybody's trying to do, save money. And then Plus is going to release trillions of dollars of liquidity. And remember the crypto teacher told you, because he knows, when it comes to the New Red Order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Red Order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, new to cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, and not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Stock Channel, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, spread everywhere. You have your Kobo, your chip sauce, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, get home stocks, the C-Red, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community. We have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends, so therefore we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture, we have to re-educate, but let's get into the video. Part 1, King Joshua and Grandma Tim save the village. Part 2, King Joshua and Grandma Tim save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3, King Joshua and Grandma Tim goes to China. It's mandatory. To get part one, part two, and part three of this series, it's time to re-educate Generation Z.